This month, there's a lot of information coming our way. Expect to unveil and discover all sorts of secrets. Also, you're very much a psychic detective. You can reach into a situation and see the truth. There's a new supermoon in Scorpio bringing out an intense new cycle. And also, there's going to be an eclipse, which is waking us up to a brand new sense of security. Here's your monthly astrology. Hey, fabulous Pisces. You've been going through quite an intense time. I mean, there's been issues to do with life, death, rebirth. Oh, very primal emotions have been stoked. And it's been very, very full on. On top of that, it wasn't helped by the fact that Mercury was going retrograde and then Mercury shadow. So you may have been overwhelmed with intensity. Now, fortunately, in November, that's starting to lift a little bit as we have the new supermoon in Scorpio. And for you, that's in your position of adventure. It's in your position of stretching yourself. It's in your position of seeing the bigger picture, rising above it and going, OK, that's the next horizon I have to head towards. Not being so sort of dragged through really heavy emotions. So there's an opening coming for you. And also Mercury's going there as well. You feel that you've got the freedom to express yourself, the freedom to talk about what you want. Nothing's holding you about. There's no taboos. You're like, right, you know, I've been through a really tough experience and now I'm going to speak my mind. But you're also a little bit more optimistic. There's a light of hope coming um, in November that is, is soothing you. Of course, you've been through such a difficult time and there's been such intense emotions. You might not feel that boom straight on the new supermoon in Scorpio, but it is a new beginning and, and hopefully hope is dawning. Venus, the planet of love and abundance, is also making you want to mix with other people. You might collaborate to, to create some abundance or if, if you're single, you may fall in love with a friend or out and about in a crowd. Um, but on a deeper level, you feel that you really, it's important for you this month that you connect with your heart with other people. You're not just doing things on your own. <clears throat> with Mercury and Mars joining forces on November the 10th, be careful that you don't, well, you will be speaking your truth, but be careful it's not too blunt. Uh, put it that way. Now, the sun is trying Neptune, your ruler on the 12th. That should be a day where you feel confident in all that you are, confident to express your spirituality, your intuition, your magic. And also you're very in tune. There could be an important message coming to you around that day. The full moon in Taurus, which is a partial lunar eclipse, has you thinking about things. Maybe an important conversation or idea is coming to you. Uh, or it's the peak of a communication because it's in your communication zone. Now, always when there's a lunar eclipse, we don't have all the details. So don't keep your mind open. Whatever information you get, keep your mind open because there may be more coming to you. But you are super intuitive. So trust it. And also, most importantly, communication isn't about talking all the time. Sometimes it's about listening. And on a full moon, it will be great if you listen because you will hear some important information on that moon. Then the, we are changing again and the sun is entering Sagittarius and as is Mercury. And you're moving into a phase where it's about your career or about your what you're passionate about in life, the things you really believe in and you have the energy to really push forward. You feel strong, you feel powerful, you feel grounded in this next phase. Take care, beautiful, and I'll speak to you soon. Don't forget to come visit me on Instagram at Michelle Knight, Michelle with one L, and on Facebook where I do lots of lives and you may even get a live tarot reading from me individually, Michelle Knight Astrologer, and of course, my website, michellenight.com, if you want a reading with one of my fabulous psychics. So much love to you.